A team of international geologists was conducting routine soil samples in a remote Philippine valley when their equipment started behaving erratically. Magnetic readings were off the charts. Spectrometers were detecting mineral signatures that seemed impossible for this region. What they uncovered next would send shockwaves through every major capital from Washington to Beijing and potentially reshape the entire global economy. Deep beneath Philippine soil lies a geological treasure so vast, so strategically crucial, that it could literally redefine the balance of world power. We're not talking about another oil field or gold mine. This discovery involves something far more valuable in today's world. Something that every major superpower is desperately scrambling to control. The numbers alone are staggering. Conservative estimates place the total value at over $1 trillion. But the real significance goes beyond mere monetary worth. What lies beneath Philippine territory could determine which nations dominate the next century of technological advancement, military supremacy, and economic influence. If you made it this far, you're clearly enjoying the ride. So why not make it official? Hit that subscribe button and turn on a notification bell so you never miss a twist, a mystery, or a jaw-dropping story. The discovery centers around what scientists call the Devil's Triangle of modern technology, three mineral groups that are absolutely essential for everything from smartphones to nuclear submarines. Without these materials, our modern world simply cannot function. And the Philippines just became the potential kingmaker in global supply chains. First, we need to understand why this discovery has intelligence agencies working overtime. Rare earth elements. The backbone of all advanced technology have been almost exclusively controlled by China for the past three decades. Beijing has used this monopoly as a geopolitical weapon, threatening to cut off supplies to countries that oppose Chinese interests. When China briefly halted rare earth exports to Japan in 2010 over a territorial dispute, Japanese electronics companies nearly collapsed within weeks. But Philippine geological surveys have now identified massive deposits of neodymium, dysprosium, and terbium in previously unexplored mountain ranges. These aren't just any rare earth elements. These are the specific materials needed for wind turbine magnets, electric vehicle motors, and advanced military radar systems. One particular deposit in northern Luzon contains enough dysprosium to supply global demand for the next 50 years. The strategic implications are mind-boggling. Every electric vehicle requires approximately 15 kilograms of rare earth materials. Tesla alone would need to secure Philippine supply chains to meet their production targets. But it's not just about cars. Modern fighter jets use over 200 kilograms of rare earth elements in their avionics and weapon systems. Without reliable access to these materials, military modernization programs grind to a halt. Chinese officials have reportedly held emergency meetings regarding this discovery. For decades, Beijing leveraged rare earth dominance to pressure other nations into favorable trade deals and political concessions. The emergence of Philippine competition threatens to undermine one of China's most powerful diplomatic tools. The second component of this geological gold mine involves cobalt and lithium deposits that dwarf anything previously discovered in Southeast Asia. These materials form the core of every battery powering our digital revolution. Your smartphone, laptop, electric vehicle, and even home energy storage systems depend entirely on cobalt lithium battery technology. Current global cobalt supply comes primarily from the Democratic Republic of Congo a region plagued by political instability and child labor concerns. Major technology companies have been desperately seeking alternative sources to avoid supply chain disruptions and ethical controversies. Philippine cobalt deposits could provide that alternative while maintaining stable democratic governance. But here's where the story becomes truly explosive. Philippine cobalt isn't just abundant, it's remarkably pure. Standard cobalt or requires extensive processing to remove impurities, an expensive and environmentally damaging procedure. Philippine deposits show purity levels that could reduce processing costs by up to 60% in 
while dramatically lowering environmental impact. Before we continue, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. With that said, let's get back to the video. The lithium discoveries are equally revolutionary. While most global lithium comes from South American salt flats, Philippine lithium exists in hard rock formations that are much easier to extract and process. Early estimates suggest Philippine lithium reserves could supply global battery demand for the next century. Apple, Samsung, and other technology giants have quietly begun negotiations with Philippine officials. Internal documents leaked to international media reveal that these companies view Philippine mineral access as a matter of corporate survival. Without secured supply chains, they face potential production shutdowns that could cost billions of dollars. The third element of this discovery involves strategic metals that most people have never heard of but that are absolutely critical for modern warfare and space exploration. Titanium, used in aircraft engines and spacecraft hulls. Tungsten, essential for armor-piercing ammunition and satellite components. Molybdenum, crucial for high-strength steel alloys used in submarine construction. Philippine deposits of these materials are located in geologically stable regions with excellent transportation access. Unlike many mineral-rich nations plagued by civil conflicts or infrastructure challenges, the Philippines offers political stability and existing port facilities capable of handling massive export operations. Pentagon analysts have classified Philippine mineral access as a national security priority. Internal assessments warned that Chinese control over Philippine resources could give Beijing decisive advantages in future military conflicts. The U.S. military's most advanced weapons systems, from stealth bombers to hypersonic missiles, require materials that could potentially be controlled by American adversaries. But this discovery creates a double-edged sword for Philippine leadership. While these resources represent unprecedented economic opportunities, they also make the Philippines a target for foreign interference and potential military pressure. History shows that nations with strategic resources often find themselves pulled into conflicts they never wanted. The environmental implications are equally complex. Large-scale mineral extraction could devastate Philippine ecosystems, particularly in regions that contain some of the world's most biodiverse rainforests. Local communities worry that mining operations could contaminate water supplies and destroy agricultural lands that have sustained families for generations. However, these same minerals are essential for renewable energy technologies. Wind turbines, solar panels, and electric vehicle batteries all require materials found in Philippine deposits. The irony is striking. Destroying Philippine environments might be necessary to save the global environment from climate change. International mining corporations have begun aggressive lobbying campaigns in Manila. Australian, Canadian, and American companies are offering multi-billion dollar investment packages in exchange for exclusive mining rights. Chinese state-owned enterprises are proposing even larger financial commitments, including infrastructure development and technology transfers. The political pressure is immense. Philippine leaders must navigate competing interests from multiple superpowers while ensuring that national sovereignty remains intact. Choosing the wrong mining partners could result in decades of economic dependence and political manipulation. Early geological reports suggest that full extraction of Philippine mineral wealth could generate over $50 billion annually in export revenue. For a nation with a GDP of approximately $400 billion, this represents a transformative economic opportunity. Properly managed, these resources could fund massive improvements in education, healthcare, and infrastructure. But the Philippines faces a critical window of opportunity. Other nations are rapidly developing alternative supply sources and synthetic material technologies. Waiting too long to develop these resources could result in missed opportunities as global markets evolve. The discovery also raises questions about previous geological surveys. How did international mining companies miss such massive deposits for decades? Some analysts suggest that earlier surveys were deliberately incomplete 
designed to underestimate Philippine mineral wealth to maintain favorable extraction terms for foreign corporations. Advanced satellite imaging and deep core drilling techniques have revealed mineral formations extending far deeper than previously thought possible. Some deposits appear to be connected through underground geological structures that span multiple Philippine islands, suggesting even larger reserves than current estimates indicate. The timing of this discovery couldn't be more significant. Global supply chain disruptions from recent conflicts have highlighted the dangers of depending on single-source suppliers for critical materials. Nations are desperately seeking diversified supply sources to reduce vulnerability to economic warfare and political manipulation. Philippine mineral wealth could reshape entire industries. Electric vehicle manufacturers could relocate production facilities closer to raw material sources. Electronics companies that could establish new research and development centers in Manila. Advanced manufacturing could transform the Philippines from a service-based economy into a technology powerhouse. But realizing this potential requires unprecedented levels of planning and coordination. The Philippines must simultaneously develop extraction capabilities, build processing facilities, train skilled workers, and establish regulatory frameworks to prevent environmental destruction and ensure fair distribution of benefits. International observers are watching Philippine decision-making processes closely. The choices made in Manila over the next few years could serve as a model for other resource-rich developing nations. Success could demonstrate how natural resources can fuel sustainable development. Failure could serve as a warning about the dangers of mismanaging geological wealth. The discovery represents more than economic opportunity. It offers the Philippines a chance to fundamentally alter its position in international affairs. For centuries, the Philippines has been viewed as a peripheral player in global politics. Control over critical mineral supplies could transform the nation into a central power broker in international relations. As we stand at this pivotal moment in history, one thing is certain. The world will never be the same. The Philippines holds the key to technologies that will define the next century of human advancement. How they choose to use that key will determine not just their own future, but the future of global technological progress, environmental protection, and international power dynamics. The scientists who made this discovery have unleashed forces that will reshape continents. The only question now is whether the Philippines will rise to meet this unprecedented challenge or whether history will record this as the greatest missed opportunity of the 21st century.